What's up guys, so today in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to ride your bike with your dog. Cyber, sit. Good boy. So, Cyber is a Doberman. We've been biking for a while, but I'm gonna just try to act like he's never biked on a bike before and just try to walk you through the steps on how I taught him. I didn't have a trainer teach me how to pull him on a bike. I kind of just figured out stuff on my own. So, let's go to the bike over here. So, I have him on leash. I got some treats on me. So, right away, he's by this bike. He's not scared of it, socializing him with it. So I'm going to give him a treat. Here you go, Cyber. Yeah, good boy. So once he's used to the bike, you know, maybe you can walk around a bit like this. Come here. Yeah. Go to bike. Yeah, good job. All right. So once your dog is comfortable with this thing next to him, um, you're going to want to just simply grab the bike, maybe move it around a bit and just walk with him. Come on. Now the leash isn't on the bike, he's just getting used to the bike walking with us. Before you do this, you want to have him obviously walk good as well. Good sit, Simon, so good boy. So now once your dog gets that down, you're going to want to just simply step over the bike like this. And just walk with it, just like that. Yeah, good job. Now if Cyber forever for some reason goes forward, now he's obviously not going to because I taught him not to. What's up guys, Derek the editor here. I just thought this was pretty interesting. I didn't even notice this, but when I was trying to pull Cyber like in front of the bike, I actually did this arm gesture, which is step up. I highly recommend teaching your dog that when they jump up on your arm, it can help them get untangled from leashes. That's just something I've learned, but okay, continue with the video. But when your dog goes forward, that's when you don't reward, but he's being a good boy right now. Okay, get up. <laughs> all right, so once your dog has all that down, you're gonna to wanna to get more treats, one sec. So this is my setup. It is hella, hella janky, but it's it works for me. There's there's ones that you can get on Amazon that is the same concept for like a hundred bucks. This is literally like a long leash wrapped around this bike axis and then the seat. And then I have like a, one of those like workout bands thing here. I just take this small leash, put it through this leash, and I go here and that, is like the perfect amount of you know leash length i want but to be extra safe because you never know i take this one right here right here on this handle and then i just lock that in he's hooked on the bike just like this he's walking with me that's a good boy he got that down now we're going to do something different we're going to kind of just step on his toes just a little bit <laughs> get off Hold on. <laughs> Stop. Okay. So we're just going to do like little, little taps just so he knows like, you know, when I'm turning the bike, I want him to move just little taps on his feet. Nothing major. Just to teach him like when this bike turns, he wants to get away so I don't run over his toes. So I'm going to just show you what that looks like going left. And it doesn't hurt to say the directions as you're turning. Really watch as you're biking. Read your dog's body language. Make sure that if they have to pee or poop, you stop so they don't poop when you're biking. <laughs> One time, Cyber was actually so focused on the bike ride that we were literally running and a, a turd just fell out his butt as we were running. So, yeah, watch your dog. <laughs> yeah, good. One thing that it did take a while to teach Cyber was to stay when he was attached to the bike. He would always want to come by me and come near me, but he was attached to the bike, so it would pull it over. So your dog may do that a lot. If you're just starting this out and your dog is pretty like anxious about the bike, I wouldn't do this with like a $2,000 bike or something like that. Um, it's gonna get scratched up and you have to deal with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My camera friend's best bike ever. How much was it? 3,000. Oh my God, see? <laughs> now we're just gonna take those same lessons as earlier and apply it to this trick right here. Now the trick that I taught Cyber was step up and I just, I worked it out just like the walking. So I'm gonna cut off his path here so he has to step up. That's such a good boy Cyber. So I didn't have to say anything, but it did take a while for him to get used to that. I'm gonna reward him because that was really good. Oh, look at you. He did it without even like asking. All right, so now we're gonna, we're gonna do this version. So this is another way you can teach him how to ride your bike. It's just kind of stand on it and push it like a scooter. Step up. 
Yeah, good boy. You can ride downstairs if you want. Woo, good boy. Good job. All right, now we're gonna do that full speed. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I bike him on the street. When I do bike by cars, I like to have my hand on his leash. Keep in mind, my right brake only works, so holding him is just as much as a brake. But if we're ever going downhill and it's just too fast, what I like to do is just ride my brake and Cyber will slow down. But I'm gonna just show you what it looks like Cyber running almost full speed and then you can just enjoy the view with my ass. All right guys, so if you ever want your dog to pull you and you don't want to pedal, you can make up commands like go get the squirrel or go get her and he'll run pretty much full speed for you. Oh. So low key, there's a lot of wind noise in this clip, but there is a motorcycle guy coming right in our path. So you'll see I put my foot right on the leash. It's just like the concept of those things that you can get on Amazon. It's a spring pulling the leashes back. That's exactly what I do with my foot. I don't push too hard, but let's continue the clip. All right, hopefully no cars come as a stop sign. So remember, only this brake works, but this is his favorite. This is where he goes max speed because the grass. Look at this. And if I want to control him a little bit, I just hold the brake, the leash. Sorry, it is a brake though. And if I want to go fast, I just pull it back on him a little bit. But yeah, as you guys can see, oh, there's a scroll right here. Oh, good thing you didn't see that. Another command is go on the grass. Yeah, good job. Good boy, Cyber. Yeah, and guys, literally that whole time I didn't pedal and it's been about probably a minute. I haven't been pedaling at all. That's why I love biking with the dog because they literally just they pull you and it is a harness. I only recommend doing this stuff with a harness. That way it's not just one point of contact. You can even train him to drink some water off the ground. Let's see if he does it. I do have water though. So I'm gonna give him some water if he doesn't drink this. Come on, focus, drink this water. <laughs> All right, so before I get any hate comments about him being off leash and being in public, we're in an enclosed fence area. However, it does say no dogs allowed on there, so. I always try to bring water now when it's really hot outside. Come here, buddy. Yeah, that's a good boy. Can you sit down? Can you sit? Yeah. Give me a high five on the knee. <laughs> Thank you. And this is another trick I taught Simon recently. Sit. Sit. Give me a hug. Uh-uh, give me a hug. Yeah, good boy. This is give me a hug. <laughs> You're a good boy. You're so pretty. You got a thumbnail. Look at Cyber. Yay. Good boy. This is such a good picture. Okay. <laughs> All right. Water. So we got caution. Slurping. Open this bad boy up. Look, like he's trying to find the water already. <laughs> yeah, wait, Cyber. We got this. <laughs> So we got his water in here in the hydro flask. He's a, he's a visco dobe. No, drink it from the bowl. <laughs> there you go. That's about 16 ounces of pure water for him. Keep drinking, I'm not going anywhere. And don't forget to hydrate yourself. I think I went over most of the basics. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Every informative video I've made, I've gotten something wrong, so correct me in the comments once again and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video bye all right so we're having a little bit of a poop break hey don't pull the bike in the poop oh good boy you stay there you wait there's ducks right there i'm surprised he's not chasing them so if you guys don't have pockets in your sweatpants and you'd like to bring poop bags i'd like to show you guys a little secret wow one oh your dog pooped twice Wrap the whole roll around your ankle. That's the best tip you're ever gonna get.
Goodbye. <laughs>